Question 18. Katie invests £200 in a savings account for two years. The account pays compound interest at an annual rate of 3.3% for the first year and 1.5% for the second year. Work out the total amount of money in Katie's account at the end of two years. Right, so... If you want to increase an amount by a percentage, you have to take that amount. And then you have to think, uh, in the first year, take that as 100%. That's the original amount, 100%. So if you're going to get an extra 3.3% on top of that, that is 103.3%. So I'm going to times, what you do is you times by 103.3%. But you're going to turn it into a decimal, so take the decimal point back twice. So if you times by 1.033, you will get a 3.3% increase. Now the second year is you an increase of 1.5%. So this is after one year, so whatever the answer is to that, that's, that's our new 100%. So if I want to increase this by 1.5%, I have to take that and times it by, again, take 100%, add 1.5%, so that is 101.5%, so 101.5, and then turn that into a decimal, so back there, so if you times by 1.015, that is the same as a 1% 1 1.5% uh, increase, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to type all that in, so 200 times 1.033 times one point 015 and our answer is 209.699 so the total amount of money 209.699 is 209 pounds and let's round up 70 pence right next B. Katie travels to work by... Oh, before I carry on, I should add that because it's money, you could argue that the bank, if you don't reach the 70p, they won't give you the 70p, they'll give you 69. Or you could argue that you should round up to the nearest, which is what I did. Either of one of those answers, uh, either 209.70 or 209.69, either of those would be marked correct by the marker. Anyway, Katie travels to work by train. The cost of her weekly train ticket increases by 12.5% to £225. Katie's weekly pay increases by 5% to £535.50. Compare the increase in the amount of money Katie has to pay for her weekly train ticket with the increase in her weekly pay. So basically what we want to do here is we want to know if she's better off or worse off at the end of it. So if we take her train ticket. So the train ticket okay, her old the old price it increases 12.5% to 225. So to find uh, what she used to get, what we need to do is now whatever it used to cost, it was increased by 12.5%. So that means it was multiplied by a number to get 225. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take 225 and I'm going to divide by, it would have been 100 plus 12.5, which is 112.5, but then it would have been divided by 100 to get that. So remember, if you multiply by this number, that would be a 12.5% increase. So if we take the new amount and divide it by that, we'll get the old amount. So that is 225 divided by 1.125. So it was a 200. Okay, so that means, so I'm going to write old train price difference yeah, equals 25 pounds more so it's gone up by 25 pounds 
her pay, so pay, that was increased by 5% to £535.50. So I'm going to take £535.50. So remember, whatever it used to be, it was increased by 5%. So it would have been multiplied by 100 plus 5, which is 105. That number is a decimal, so again, divide by 100. 1.05. So if we take the new amount and divide by 1.05, you will get the old amount. So 535.50 divided by 1.05, and that gives us 510. So that's what it used to. That's what she used to get paid. 510, and now she gets. Uh, 535 and 50. So the difference is 535.50 take away 510, which is 25 pounds and 50 pence. So her pay went up by 25 pound 50. The ticket price of the train went up by 25 pounds. So after that, she is 50p better off. Uh, since pay increased by 50p more than the train ticket. Okay, again, those kind of questions where you need to explain things in your own words. If you're, if you're not sure you've explained it fully, and I'm not the best at explaining things, uh, things like that, just keep put any information in that you feel that you've got. But you've done your calculations, you've worked out the, the old price and the new price, you've worked out the differences, you've worked out that she gets 50p more uh, overall. So 50p better off is your answer.